if we can protect our crops from different problems like insect attack, viral attack, pathogen attack or salinity stress, cold stress, heat stress, then obviously we can increase the productivity. In different plants there are different types of sap sucking insects. Like in chickpea there are Aphis craxivora which is a um, common sap sucking insect. In mustard, mustard feed Lipaphis erizimi is another important insect. In cabbage there are sap sucking insects. In rice there are sap sucking insects. The sap sucking insects they are the vectors for viruses also. So in one way they damage the plant by sucking away the flowing saps and another way they spread viruses from one plant to another. So we thought that we had to uh, look for new genes to be discovered or invented to protect these things. So genes from indigenous plant sources, our neighboring plant sources and came down to garlic, onion, very common edible plants we selected. Fortunately, we found some manus binding lectins present in those plants. These proteins always are consumed by human being and other grazing animals. So they are not affected by those uh, proteins. But most of the sap sucking insects we targeted are affected by our protein. We have this technology, the lectin technology for the sap sucking insects. Cotton is having lot of different sap sucking insects which are affected by uh, lectin. So it's very interesting, through one molecule we can uh, target both the uh, enemies. One is insect, another is virus. With cotton, like cotton is affected by white fly, is a sap sucking insects and these white fly are uh, transmitting leaf curl virus and many other viruses. So lectin, if lectin is uh, transferred to expressed in cotton, then cotton plant will be survived both from white fly, the sap sucking white fly as well as the leaf curl virus. Primary benefit is that uh, the plant will be healthy, they, they will not be attacked by by the F white fly and by leaf curl virus. So plant will grow happily and the farmers will get their return. Yield will be more and more.